So far, we've been talking about how charges behave inside a magnetic field. We talked about the Lorentz force, stuff like that. But if you have not asked the big question yet, today we're going to ask a big question. What creates a magnetic field? What creates a magnetic field? That's an excellent question. We never asked that so far. We only worked out the properties and we worked out what happens to a charge inside a magnetic field. But we never asked the question, what is the source for the magnetic field? At first, the answer seems to be quite easy. Well, of course, magnets. But then if you think about it a little bit more, you can ask a deeper question. What's inside a magnet that allows it to create a magnetic field? What's inside? What's so special about a magnet? Why can't other things, like for example, if I have a rock over here, why doesn't that rock create a magnetic field? Why just a magnet? Well, you could say, no, magnets have these things called as poles. They have a North Pole and they have a South Pole, but these are these names that are given. You know, these are not really the answers. So we can again ask, why does a North Pole create a magnetic field? Or you, uh, it's not the why, it's like what creates the magnetic field inside, okay? So that's the question we're gonna try and answer in these couple of videos. I think the best way to answer this question is to come up with another question. Is there anything else that creates a magnetic field besides the magnet? I think that's going to be super important because if you can, if you can find there's something else, then we can try and understand the properties of that and then we can try and relate its properties to the magnet and maybe we can unravel the secrets behind what's a magnet. So the new question we're going to ask ourselves is, is there anything else that creates a magnetic field? And the answer to this question was given by, was given by a man called as Erstad, a Danish physicist who in about 1820 accidentally figured out that if you take a wire and pass current through that wire, a very strong current, he was doing some kind of a demonstration in his classroom or something. What he finds out is when you send a wire, when you send a current through a wire, if there's a magnetic needle nearby, which happened to be there on his table, then that needle will experience a deflection. That needle will get deflection. It gets deflected due to the current. He confirmed that by changing the direction of the current. He finds that the needle deflects in the opposite direction and then he increased the strength of the current and decreased the strength of the current and he saw a proportionate change in the strength of the deflection. The result was inescapable. The current was producing a deflection on the needle. The electric current was pushing the magnetic needle. Well, you could ask why? Why was the magnetic needle being pushed by the current? Well, you can never answer a why, but you can ask yourself a deeper question. What's going on over here? because there's no contact over here. What must be going on? Well, we ask the question, what could deflect a magnetic needle? Well, if you bring a magnet, a magnet can deflect a magnetic needle. In other words, a magnetic field can deflect a magnetic needle. And therefore, we can now conclude that a current was creating a magnetic field. Okay, so the question, is there anything else that creates a magnetic field was answered by this fellow. And the answer is yes there is something else that also creates a magnetic field and what is that something an electric current and this was arguably one of the most important discoveries of the 19th century physics which accelerated the, the growth of electricity and magnetism and after this there were many experiments conducted by ampere faraday and maxwell which eventually laid the foundations to the current formulations of electrodynamics as we see it today Right? So we're going to speak more about this connection between the electric current and, and the magnetic fields in the future episodes, so stay tuned.